confusion on the streets of San Francisco as the driver of this truck labeled specialty towing attempts to latch onto a car with someone behind the wheel in the driver's seat. I saw a Waymo with its hazards on and then he went for the car next to it which had people in it and started loading that and they started backing up and he started chasing him with the tow truck. What the f are you doing? Stunned, Jeff Furland started recording on his phone. He maneuvered the forks under the front tires. He continued to chase them backwards with the forks down. Um, and then when he went to take off, as soon as he takes off, he's raising the arm. On its website, specialty towing hails as, quote, the best towing service you can depend on. But according to official documents, city attorney David Chu believes that is the same company he suspended from doing business with the city, though he acknowledges there are several towing companies with specialty in their name. Chu's office says the company he suspended, quote, scammed people out of hundreds of dollars by illegally towing cars and making them hard to retrieve. So assuming this is specialty towing, this is the same towing company that our office previously moved to suspend and debar from receiving city contracts. Hi, this is Adrian Broadus calling back from NBC News again. We called the number on the tow truck seen in the video and the owner of the company for answers. After the first call, a representative said they would call back. As I was attempting to leave a message for the owner, someone answered. They picked up and hung up, so I couldn't even finish my message. We just want to know what happened. We want to hear your side of the story. And so does Furland, who still can't believe what he saw. It's hard to figure out the motive for this one because it's so extreme and unprecedented. Yeah, a lot of questions here, Adrian. Uh, great work trying to get some answers there. So do San Francisco police have any leads? Because it, it appears this might be criminal. You know what, Tom, if they have any information, they haven't shared that with us. Police are only saying this is in an active investigation and there haven't been any arrests. Meanwhile, the two adults who we believe were in the vehicle that day haven't responded to our calls either. The good news here, no one was physically hurt, but so many questions tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.